Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with John. I'm John and this is my cooking show. It's been quite a while since I've been active on this channel. Uh, Nikki and I, we've just been up to a lot. We've relocated across the country, moved into a new house, we've got this fabulous new kitchen, and I think it's about time that I start making cooking videos again. Today's video, I'm actually going to be demoing Testing out and reviewing the Mandolin Multi Chopper. This is something you can pick up on Amazon. There's a link in the description below. Uh, it's a handy handy little tool to have a multi chopper with all these different pieces, it's blades, uh, we have a peeler, we've got a juicer, we've got a couple different things here that are really, really cool. So I've got some vegetables, I've got my mandolin chopper right here, and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get right into it, and we're gonna start chopping some vegetables. So I can tell you right off the bat, one of the things I like about this multi-chopper is it actually comes with a container. I've seen different, you know, models, uh, different setups, designs, you know, what, the ones that don't necessarily have a little container that keeps all your stuff in. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be doing actually a little bit of meal prepping, vegetable chopping, dicing, slicing, all sorts of really cool stuff with this little device. Everything I chop, slice, will drop down into this plastic container on the bottom, and then I'll put it into a Tupperware put it in the fridge so I can use my onion, my carrots, my cucumber, my mushrooms, anytime I want. And I'm just really, really excited about this chopper. So let's get started. And of course, I wasn't recording, but I did my, my first piece of potato here. I'm gonna dice up a couple small pieces. Uh, this actually is really, really cool dicer. You lift the top, you take your vegetable, your fruit, whatever you're gonna dice, you set it right there, and then you push it down. One of the cool things about this Multi choppers, it comes with two different sizes. If I wanted to do a little something a little bit more fine, maybe I've got some onions, uh, some sort of other vegetable, I can easily pull this out and replace it, put it right back. One thing you have to be very, very careful about when you're using multi choppers like this is these are blades, they are very sharp. We're dicing and slicing, so just be careful. So we put our red potato right there, and then we push down just like that drops right into that. This is actually the perfect size potato that I can cook up for breakfast. I could make American fries. I can chop them up a little bit farther, but how easy is that to chop these vegetables? Just like that. Love it. I love it. I'm gonna do most of my potatoes this way and just, ah, man, it's so much easier to use a multi-chopper tool like this than to having to independently slice and dice all of these potatoes. Potato pieces all diced up. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put them in a Tupperware. I'm going to save them for later and then I'll cook them right up. So now we're going to switch out the top and we're going to switch over to a, a slicing tool. There's a grater, uh, I believe a mincer, and a slicer. And remember, be careful. These are very, very sharp. I actually just took a little skin off my finger. Again, these three inserts, they are removable. You can just put in the new one and whatever you want to do. How easy is that? I am making really, really nice cucumber slices, but look how easy that is to just slice and dice cucumber. If you like cucumber salad, I don't know, maybe you want to do a cucumber face mask. This is the perfect tool for either one of those options. We open it up and we just have, look at those slices, perfectly sliced cucumber pieces. Mm -mm -mm. And they are delicious. We're gonna take our, our cucumber slices we put them in a Tupperware, we're gonna save them for later. Oh, those are so yummy. And we're actually gonna use the same tool to do some tomato slices. Same thing, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, easy peasy, sharp blade, just making some tomato slices. Maybe you've got some burgers going. Maybe you wanna serve uh, some tomato slices with a little bit of sugar on them. But look at that, it's that simple, people. We've got just fine, fine sliced tomato pieces. Oh God, that would be so good on a burger. Look at that, just perfect. Same with the carrot. You want some nice carrot slicers, you just use the slicer, one after another. Easy, easy, easy. Look how fast that goes. So easy to use. And voila, just like that, we've got tiny, perfect little carrot slices. Now we're gonna pop out the slicing insert right here. We'll set that aside, we'll wash it later. And this, I believe, is a mincer. Now we're gonna do a little bit of mincing. Now we'll try out the onion, we'll see how this works. Again, these are things you wanna be careful with. They're very, very, very sharp. But let's say you wanna mince up some onion here. Maybe you're gonna mix it into a salad, 
serve it as a sandwich topping. My gosh, look how easy that is. This is me where I would take actually the top of the slicer. It's perfect for this, but you don't want to get your fingers anywhere near that cutting device. You just keep slicing and slicing and slicing and slicing and slicing. And before you know it, you're going to have a decent, decent amount of shredded onion. Look at that. Just perfect. Just minced up, ready to go. Great for cooking. Great for throwing on a sandwich, a hot dog, anything like that. Here we have another insert. If you want to take say a cucumber and you want to make those little spiral gourmet wedges i'm not exactly sure what they call but you just take your cucumber you put it in here and you just start spinning and i didn't get very much it's a little bit more of a longer process but you get these nice little cucumber strips great garnish good for a drink if you want to put it maybe on a fancy plate something like that uh, it's just a great little device to have to make these cool little strips of cucumber skin I've got one more insert here is actually for me for slicing cucumber. This I think is a great, great garnish for a drink, but we take all the skin right off the outside of the cucumber. You can kind of see how it's forming there, but we'll take it up, we'll open it up, and we'll have this awesome, awesome ribbon of cucumber and cucumber skin. We can break it up. We can do a lot of different things with it. If you want to serve cucumber water at your house, this is the perfect garnish for a drink like that. And the last thing that I'm going to show off today is actually the small, fine dicer. I'm actually just going to put some mushrooms in there. I'm going to cut them up into tiny, tiny little pieces, cook them with a little butter, and serve them up as a side for a steak. Maybe I'll put them on a burger. But look how easy that is. It's almost effortless to get these mushrooms cut up into tiny little pieces. One of the advantages of using a multi-chopper tool like this is that you're not having to worry about knives, sharp edges, cleaning up a ton of different things. You've got one tool, everything is in one little box and container, and it works so well. Look at that, all that chopped up little mushroom. I mean, I could not dice and slice that mushroom with a knife as fast as I can with this multi-chopper if I wanted to. Well, I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do here. Uh, I'm going to cook a little food up. I'm actually going to use a variety of these vegetables that I chopped up this morning. Uh, I'm going to get right into cooking breakfast. It's early. I'll fry up some potatoes. I'll uh, saute some mushrooms, add a little onion to my eggs. I think it is going to be delicious. Maybe have a little cucumber on the side. Got some avocado over here. One thing I forgot to mention, this actually comes with a peeler. So if you want to pull the peel off of your vegetables before you start using it, that works really, really great. And somewhere around here, there's a tiny, tiny little cleaning brush. Like I said, these blades are very sharp. You don't want to be poking your fingers in there. You don't want to be doing any of that jazz. So it comes with a brush you can use to clean any of these pieces. If something gets stuck in a blade, you push this little bristle brush into the blade, clean it out, and then you're good to go. So check out the Mandolin Multi-Chopper Tool. The link is in the description below. I'll bring it right over to Amazon. There's also a discount code right below that link. It's N-L-A-K-2-P-S-T. And you take that discount code, put the code in when you're checking out, and you'll get 12% off one of these or 15% off two of them. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching me, John, and my cooking channel. I'm really, really excited to have this mandolin multi-chopper tool. I'll be using it. Uh, I know a lot in my free time. I love to cook. You guys know that. And it just makes it a lot easier to chop up all these vegetables, slice, dice. It's dishwasher safe, so when I'm done with today's video, all the stuff you see here will go right into the dishwasher on the top rack. I'll clean it all up. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time with more cooking from me and John. Oof, I am excited for some sautéed mushrooms.